We just got our first look at a new G7 Great Dane, as well as pre-orders already going up for LPS on Amazon. There's a lot to talk about. Hey guys, it's LPS Honey, and welcome back to another basic fun new LPS update. Imagine my surprise when I was just filming another LPS video and all of these new pre-orders and LPS releases just got dropped on me. You guys know I had to stop everything and give y'all an update, so buckle up because we have quite the ride. Amazon Canada is not playing around and they've already started putting up LPS pre-orders. So let's take a look, shall we? Our first pack seems to be a beach theme and consists of 5 LPS, a pelican, a seagull, a fish, a dog, and a dolphin, as well as a few accompanying accessories. Now you can currently pre-order this pack on Amazon Canada at the time of recording this video. It may sell out or they may close pre-orders, I'm not sure yet. So if you're interested in it, definitely jump on it ASAP to get your pre-order in. I'll put the prices on screen as well. They're listed in Canadian dollars, but I will put the US dollar conversion um, because I know a lot of you guys are from the US. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the pet's designs. I definitely love the pelican the most. I just really like the colors they chose for it, but all of them are really cute. The fish is adorable, um, and the dog is a really surprising addition. I honestly would have thought they would have added another sea creature, maybe like an axolotl, but it's kind of nice to see a little dog put in there as well. I have seen some people talk about him online, especially on Instagram, saying that he looks like he's missing like the eyeliner for his eyes, and I definitely understand that, but I still think he looks cute. The second announcement actually isn't currently up for pre-order. It is listed on Amazon Canada, but it currently says it is temporarily out of stock again at the time of recording this video by the time this goes up they may have open pre-orders for it so i don't have an exact price for these pets as of now but as soon as i find out i will add it to a pinned comment so make sure you check the comments out to see how much these pets cost but these are the blind boxes and what's really surprising about these is that they're not singular blind boxes there are three pack blind boxes. This personally really surprised me because we've never seen something like this before in the world of LPS. We've always only gotten singular blind boxes. So it's really interesting to see Basic Fun take a new spin on this. And instead of giving you one LPS per blind box, you're going to get three. At least that's what I could gather from the listing title and description. In the description it mentions how you will get 3 LPS as well as accessories and a collector's card. So that's pretty exciting knowing that you're going to get multiple LPS per blind box. And I just think that's an awesome way to expand your collection and kind of help stop doubles happening because they're really pushing this no repeats thing with these blind boxes. Like they continuously say you will not get doubles. So it's really exciting to see that Basic Fun is kind of doing a gimmick which is currently popular and that's blind boxes, but also helping collectors to not get like 20 of the same pet. But let's talk about the designs. All of them are really cute. There are a few I'm quite surprised by though. Like of course we have the iconic black and white panda, super adorable. We have some pets we saw at the toy fair like the Himalayan cat and also the King Charles Spaniel which I'm personally the most excited for. But what really surprised me is pet number 16. It is pretty much a color variation of the black and white panda. So instead of being black and white, it is purple and white. It's very similar to this LPS here, except of course with the heart eyes and a slightly darker shade of purple. So I'm really surprised to see them doing a color variation of a pet from the same series already. Um, now it could change on actual release date, but I just thought that was an interesting little note that they're already doing color variations of these pets. So that's probably something we're going to see quite a lot of moving forward. At least with this first wave of pets. I'm sure they'll have a lot more intricate designs moving forward. But for now they're playing it safe and I kind of understand that. LPS, at least G2 LPS, haven't been in stores for a long time. So this is a big move for them. Other than the pets I've mentioned, there's some cute designs. Like I said, most of these we saw at the Toy Fair 
but I'm really liking the Otter and also the Clydesdale Horse. I really love that mold, so I'm really glad that it's getting more recognition. And that brings us to our final pack, which is this one here, and it has got the pet community buzzing on Instagram. Let me tell you, I've seen so many story posts about this specific set. First of all, it's a re-release of an old Tricks and Talents pack that I actually got when I was little. It was actually my first ever LPS pack that I got. So it's really exciting to see it being re-released for a new generation. The colors are of course different for this new generation, but what's really interesting is the pets that it comes with. It comes with a pet triplets bird. The colors are really similar to the one that has already been released. As you can see here, we have the new generation on the left and the already released pet triplets version on the right. They are very, very similar. Um, but the really exciting pet in this photo is this little guy in the bottom left corner. People are losing their minds and speculating that this is a new Great Dane mold and I have to kind of agree with that assumption. It looks very Great Dane-like. It has the long body and the same kind of ear mold we've come to know from Great Dane pets. But I have to admit, I am really surprised that Basic Fun could possibly be making a new Great Dane mold instead of releasing the iconic G2 version that a lot of people love. This could honestly be an interesting move for them and I'm not really sure how the pet community is going to react. Of course, we all love seeing new molds and it's exciting to see, but this particular pet in general is a really brave choice, I think. I feel like a lot of people kind of want the G2 Great Dane and seeing this new mold is really confusing to me. Like obviously we want Basic Fun to come out with new molds and that's super exciting like everyone was really excited about the Axolotl myself included but choosing a Great Dane is interesting because I feel like most people like I said would prefer the G2 version and especially this Great Dane in particular is giving me G6 vibes rather than G2. I just want to give a little generational comparison here so here is our G2 Great Dane mold. Iconic. We all love him. Then we have a G6 mold here. It is still cute but the small body is quite jarring and the super round head is definitely G6 vibes. But then we have this new design here which kind of looks like a mix between the two. I feel like the head is definitely more G2 shaped but things like the body definitely remind me more of a G6 pet. A massive forehead, it's definitely more reminiscent of a G6 pet than G2, but it's not exactly the same. They've definitely mixed a lot of elements to create this new dog. But please let me know in the comments down below what you think of this new dog. Do you think it's a Great Dane? And if so, what are your opinions on Basic Fun releasing a new mold version of it? Hey, LBS Honey from the future here. I wanted to put in a little message here and kind of propose another theory I've seen floating around online about this new LBS mold. While it does definitely share resemblance to a Great Dane, and that's what a lot of people are kind of running with, I would be surprised, like I said, if they do make a new Great Dane mold when they already have one. And that's when I came across a new theory. I found this theory from Alistrian LPS on Instagram, so shout out to them. And uh, they are convinced that this is actually a hairless Mexican dog. I'm not completely sure how to pronounce the name of the breed. I think it might be Jolo, um, but please somebody correct me in the comments down below because I probably said that completely wrong. Um, but I wanted to put some like comparison images on screen. So here is the LPS and here is a hairless dog and they are very similar looking. I'd say there's more resemblance here than with the Great Dane. Now again, we don't know for sure, but I thought this was a really interesting theory and to be honest, I'm kind of leaning into this theory more than the Great Dane. I personally agree with this theory a lot more than the Great Dane, even though a lot of people are kind of leaning towards the Great Dane, I think this is more likely just because I'd be so incredibly surprised if Basic Fun, after listening to everything the LPS community wants, for some reason changed up one of their most popular molds. It just really doesn't make sense to me and the similarities between the LPS mold and the hairless dog breed are a lot more apparent, at least for me personally, just looking at the images side by side. So I wanted to add this in there. I, I found this out after I had recorded my video, so I do just want to give you guys the option to come up with your own theories, of course. 
Um, but I'm personally kind of running with the hairless dog theory. Uh, it seems more likely that they would introduce a new mold than revamp an old one. But I wanted to propose kind of both sides of the argument. So yeah, uh, this is my little edited in afterthought. But let me know what you guys think. And uh, back to the already recorded video. My crown's falling off. Ugh. Now again, this is all speculation because the Amazon listing itself does not directly tell us what breed of dog this is. So in the future, if they do announce what dog this is specifically, I will update you guys and let you know. The set itself looks pretty cute and I probably will be picking it up. Of course, I will add the price on screen as well in the US dollars. I think it's a pretty reasonable price, especially considering that the five pack is almost a similar price. I guess it depends how much you want to weigh up the price of the pets compared to the actual place set. But um, I think it's a decent price. As for now, those are the only pets that have been listed on Amazon Canada and I couldn't find them on websites like Amazon Australia. So I will leave the links in the description down below if you want to check them out for yourself. I don't know if they'll be shipping worldwide to all the different countries. So that is something you'll have to research for yourself using your own version of Amazon to your country. But these are some surprising announcements. The release dates on all of these packs say January 1st, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see these in late December around Christmas because that's when there's going to be a big boom in toy sales. Just from a marketing standpoint, the fact that the Roblox game is coming out in December, it makes more sense for these pets to come out late December, early January than the start of January onward. So the Amazon release date could change moving forward and I wouldn't be surprised if it does. But that is all the updates we have for now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. These are some exciting revelations and it's cool to see the stock photos now of so many pets we kind of saw at the toy fair. And of course, seeing this new dog mold has really got the community guessing and excited. Like always, if there's been any changes, like for example, they reveal what breed of dog this is or if the listings go on sale or stop going on sale i'll try and update you guys down below in a pinned comment and uh, like i said make sure you check the description out because i will link these listings down below huge shout out to the littlest pet shop reddit because that's where i found this information and thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoy these update videos and my other videos as well please don't forget to like comment and of course subscribe and i hope to see you guys in a new video very soon bye guys